So we know that we have uh, indigents of Okwama who are not resident here, who have also heard about what has happened. What information do you have concerning what has happened? And what information are you, are, are you taking to the people of Okwama who are not here? And how have you been able to rally around the people you know, since this incident happened? Please come and speak with us. And we're also informed that the lawyer representing the community, I believe, is also here. We'll hear from the lawyer after the youth president. Okwamado, Okwamado, uh, I am activist Blessed Ugeri, the Osurigeli Re Igelo Urubu, the president uh, Urubu Progress Junior, youth wing worldwide. Uh, it's uh, painful that uh, uh, our people suffer for the pains of what they know nothing about. Our people are bearing the consequences of nothing of what they know nothing about. On March 14, from all indications, it shows that our people were set up for some, by some wicked persons whom I have seen our people as threat, or the development of our people as threat to their own self. These are peace-loving people who have been here even far back before 1940. They have been existing. Okwama community has been in existence. You saw an elder who came here to describe how we migrated to this place. And we have lived here peacefully without having issues with anyone. On is it April 1936 or thereabout, a dispute between the land boundary between uh, uh, Okwama and uh, Akubana was right and the judgment was given and since that day to this day the Okwama people has lived peacefully with the Akubana community without issue. Now look at the environment. When you come since the issue of on the 14th, this place has become a day. Prior to this time, there was a report to us that one Patrick Lopro wanting one thing has been boasting of trying to extinguish the or the community of Okwama that it has been a problem, this has been a problem since he relocated down to his community, making various verbal threats, making himself as God and uh, uh, all of uh, the water coast, telling the people that he has the government backing and he has also backing to destroy and to wipe out the Okwama community. But God bless our ancestors. God bless the SM. God bless our ancestors that nothing of such can happen because we are peaceful persons. Now, when this thing happened, we call on government, we call on various persons. As the leader of Urobo Youth Worldwide, it is my core responsibility to care and cater for the welfare of Urobo Youth all over the world. I called and I was in one of those channels, I don't want to recall his name, and I spoke very well. Everybody thought we are very, very sorry that it happened. The, nobody is proud of taking a life. Nobody is proud of taking a life. How much more of military personnel who are seen as protecting our boundaries, who are seen working night and day to keep us safe. And of such, you have the U.S people with such orientation to come at look at them these people do they look like people who we want to kill a fly knowing fully well that if they do so this community will be erupted the answer is simple no this is a pure case of setup on the Kwama people thank God by God's grace we've called on the federal government we've called on the state government I wouldn't say much but uh, the state government have tried its best we want him to do more Governor Sheriff have tried. We must give it to him for all he have done, citing of uh, IDP's camp, citing of uh, going to uh, Abuja to see how the military left uh, Okwama and us coming back. But we still cry on our father, the hard-working governor of Delta State, to come back to Okwama and see how to help more perhaps in Okwama. Not leaving the federal government out of this because reprisal attack all over the world is not accepted. Reprisal attack is not accepted. If this issue was done, what we expected was an investigation into this issue. Find the culprit, bring them to book, and let them face the law. 